Hey guys, welcome back to Harmon Homestead. I'm down in my pasture garden today and I wanted to show you our fall carrots. So you can see the carrots, um, the deer have ransacked these. I mean, they are eaten to a nub. So I need to go ahead and pull them up. We planted the scarlet nantes, how, however you pronounce it, carrots. You can see how deep they go. Um, I'll put my finger in the hole. Of, about, the, about the length of my index finger, if you've got a good one. Um, you can tell, like, this little thing, he's he's nowhere near ready, didn't make well. But if you get the bigger the stem, the better chance is that you'll have a fair-sized carrot. I'm going to pull him up. It is hard to grow these in clay soil. <clears throat> Now, he's not that bad. In fact, that's probably the best one I've pulled. I mean, they actually surprised me how well they did. Now, not every carrot's going to be like that. But, I mean, you'll have some that are. I've just got a variety there. Um, but you won't... Let's see. He's not too shabby. I mean, it'd be good for a little salad. But the bigger the stem the better the chance is, that's just a weed. Like that one, you can tell that was a bigger stem. The better the chance is that it'll be something worth having. Let's pull him up. Not bad. I mean, no, and this variety is not meant to have the world's biggest carrots by any means. And so you'll get a bunch like that one. I just feed those to the chickens. He's not bad. These two might be fair. Just kind of have to wiggle it out. Not bad. This one's not going to be as big, I don't think. Yeah. He looks fair. Now, he started to have like a little rot on him almost. He had been in so long. The deers don't want the carrots. They just want the tops. He did good. I mean, actually not too shabby. I've got a lot more to pick, but would it be worth canning? No. Might could freeze them? Yeah, I've just been trying to eat them fresh here. Still got our kale and mustard. All that's just kind of puttered out, and I just left it to be. Mainly, we planted it, honestly, just to keep the ground tilled up, but or keep it going over winter. But, um... I mean, the turnips definitely made. I, you know, I don't know if this would even be rotted by now. I don't know. I mean, he's got some fair greenery on him. But anyways, guys, that's what's left of this garden. But you can see here, don't think your carrots are gone. If it's been deer, so you can see that hoof print right there. Deer track. The, the carrots are still up under there. It's just they've eaten the tops off, so you need to go ahead and get them. Now, this section, it look as good as far as size of the carrots. This one, fair, fair. I see a few good ones in here. If they're not thinned out, they're not going to make a big carrot. So, But we just scattered the seed and said, well, we'll just try this. I will say our mustard, the mustard did great. It actually did. See, that's what happens when you don't thin them out. You got these little bitty carrots. But hey, it's chicken feed right there. So, but anyways, that's what carrot tops look like. And that's what they look like after the deer's gotten hold of them. So the carrot tops, I've pulled them all off. And a few little stragglers, the little half-rotted ones I've got in here. And just that little one. So I'm going to give that to the chickens. And this is our little bucket of carrots. Like I said, this was probably our biggest one. He's not bad. I mean, the most, most of them are like that. But they're not supposed to be huge. And at least they grew in clay soil. They're more they're more fat and round than they are length, lengthy. And that's because of the soil and the variety that they are. But hey, we'll take it. I mean, it's not pretty. <laughs> and it's not...
the best looking carrot there ever was. But you know what? This carrot right here is healthier for you than anything you'll find in a store. Because that right there, you know what went into it. Mother Nature, no chemicals, grew that. And that is harvest from above. Well, except for fertilizer. But hey, this right here, you know what you put on it. No pesticides, nothing. That right there is what you want. That is God's goodness to you. And you can feel better about it when you eat it. And you know what? It's healthier for you and healthier for your family. So anything that you can grow for yourself or even just to learn what a, a carrot looks like growing or when it's ready to pick, that right there, that's what it's all about, guys. Okay, guys. So we've got our carrots. We've started cleaning these. Look how beautiful they are. Gorgeous. To clean these, the best thing that I have found is turn water, turn the sink water on a little bit warm and just kind of get the dirt off the best you can with your hands. And then to get in all of those crevices, I've got a wood, um, like a wooden toothbrush. I think it's bamboo, a bamboo toothbrush. And it's got hard bristles on it. These are great for cleaning. You can get these um, just about anywhere. And they're pretty cheap. But just take that brush and go in the crevices. Like, look at that. Did you see that? Let me show you that side. Just go in those crevices back and forth. And the toothbrush is actually so rigid the bristles are that a lot of times they'll take those little hairs with it, which is fine. Okay, there's a perfect example. Look at this side. Take my brush. Like you're filing your nails, really, or filing something just back and forth. And there's other ways to do it. This is just what I had laying around and I've done before. And I said, hey, I'm going to try this again. And I've had some around the house. I don't know if the plastic toothbrushes would work just as well. They probably would. I'm not sure. I just know that one is so rigid that it scrubs. That's it. Look at that. I'll show you one more. One of my smaller ones. Okay. So now I'm already getting off a lot of dirt right there to the side. It's still got it in all those crevices. I'm not I'm not worried about the tails at all or the very top because I'm gonna cut those off. Look at just that side. Cleaned up beautifully. It's just hard with your hands to get down in those crevices when you just try to rub dirt off. And all I'm gonna do with these tonight is I'm gonna chop the ends off, chop them up, boil them, get them tender. And I just want to serve salt and pepper over them. But anyways, homegrown carrots, guys. They look a whole lot different once you bring them inside and clean them up. Grow something. Grow something. Become sustainable. We'll see you next time on Harmon Homestead.